what's up pretty gang it's your favorite nail tech peaches back with another motherfucking video and today look okay so this is an old video right i'm talking about this is footage from august i forgot i had on one of my cell phones so i was like you know what let's go ahead and talk about it because i want to talk to you guys about doing acrylic toes on toenails that are angled that are not you know of a regular i guess trajectory right because listen on my channel y'all already know i like to keep it real with y'all everybody do not have you know the most perfect is feet but there's a way that you can work with everyone okay so before we get into it i'm sorry i don't have a subscriber for the day i'm on my way to work you know we in a hurry subscribe notifications on as usual okay so this particular client you can see that one of her toenails in particular is rotated okay you can see the third toe in the one smack in the middle is kind of at like a little side angle right and on the other foot she has two of them that i believe are like that so uh, once again i apologize for the quality when i had recorded this it's because i was out of space on the phone i'm using currently to record so this is i think i recorded this on my eight uh yeah so anyways we're gonna prep as normal and you guys are gonna watch me do that as i kind of give you a little background on this particular client and things like that okay um actually first and foremost i do want to say thank y'all for being patient with me with these videos the, my last video i had put out i think i did tell you guys that i'm gonna take a couple days off um which i did because y'all my neck and my back just behaving absolutely atrociously okay um but i'm feeling better i've had some time to catch up on rest and so i'm ready to get back to it okay so i appreciate all y'all with the kind comments you guys was telling me take a break take a rest you know everything of that nature which i'm glad i did because the next three days is going to be packed i'm talking about okay 14 hours straight no breaks no nothing so you guys will be getting plenty of content this weekend okay anyways back to the back to the realness of it okay so you can see this particular client like i said that middle toe smack in the middle has a rotation on it as that toenail grows out right like if she were to come with it grown out it would still grow at that angle the thing i need you guys to understand about clients who have toenails like this excuse me is although the toe itself is straight the nail does not grow straight it don't matter how you cut it it don't matter how you put the toes on there it don't matter what angle you think you're going to try and fix that nail the growth pattern is to grow crooked is to grow at pretty much like a 45 degree angle okay and so what you're gonna have there is if you try to um i guess you could say correct the growth or you know uh, angle the toenail a different way to make up for the angle that it's at basically what's gonna happen is as it grows out it's gonna grow funky because that's not the angle that's meant for the toenail to grow you see what I'm saying so realistically uh, you guys know I'm using young nails protein bond that's I don't use dehydrate or nothing else because if you properly remove the shine with your sanding band or your bits whatever it is that you use dehydrate is not going to make a difference okay that's just what i stand on and this white is probably either going to be um not polished milky white or young nails core white not quite sure like i said this was like months ago liquid young nails because i'm a young nails girl through and through okay so basically you guys are going to watch me go ahead and do these toenails as normal um, of course, as I'm doing this, my client is like, oh, you know, I don't like how that one's angled. Cause I did tell her, I'm like, you know, you have beautiful toenails. You have plenty of space. If you grew them out, you wouldn't need acrylic toes, which when I see clients that technically don't need them. And I, you know what I'm saying? I always put everybody up on game, whatever. They always like, no, I don't like how this grows. I don't like how that grows, whatever. I'm like, okay. The problem is most people will just cut their real nails short as possible instead of letting them grow out but they will get acrylic toes for the same length that they would want them to grow. It's, it's, it's kind of strange, okay? Either way, uh, as talking to her, and she was like, I don't know why it grows like that, this and the other. Now, upon first glance, you may think like, oh, someone just cut that nail at an angle. Like, oh, that nail will grow and fine, it just grows at an angle. But if you really look closely, okay, notice how if you were to cut one of her other toenails at an angle, it still wouldn't be that angle. And that's how you know, you can tell like, no, this is the growth, the nail pattern, okay, of that particular nail. So her body is telling her nail, grow like that. That is how she was born. There's no injury or anything um, associated with this. And the reason that you can tell this is not an injury that's causing her toenail to grow like this is because you can see it's a very healthy looking, regular looking toenail, okay? There's not any excessive thickness or anything like that. Um, so for those who 
like are not licensed nail techs or do not have a lot of experience with feet th that's just something that you want to look out for okay uh, well <laughs> you guys have seen plenty of damage looking toenails on my channel and on my page so i ain't got to worry about y'all when it comes to that y'all this point y'all should know what look healthy and what don't look healthy okay that's what i'm trying to get you guys to the point of so i went ahead and i just started on the big toe as normal i did want to keep it um i felt like this more natural length would benefit her the most and of course not only because she does have a toenail that grows at an angle and like i said on the other foot i believe she has two that grow like that but um based on you know just talking to the client and things like that like she's not gonna want a long one anyways and she has quite a bit of space on her big toe she kind of just wants the look of a squared out look so there's no reason to overextend too much if all their main concern is you know wanting a squared out look okay so uh you guys have seen me do acrylic toes like a million times on my channel so i know this is kind of i don't want to say it's a bore but i know right now we're discussing like one main feature of the foot while also discussing some other things so i apologize if this seems a little bit slow and whatnot but you know me i feel like it's important to show things in real time and things like that so um yeah that's just what it is for now i do also want to point out to you guys that um well, first of all you guys know i am on a mission to be at 5,000 subscribers by new year's day right I just want to point out I made a post on Instagram probably like the beginning what the beginning of October what is this this doesn't make no sense anyways y'all I made a post in like somewhere beginning of October saying that like you know I was at 3100 subscribers I'm not even paying attention I'm supposed to be on this journey I'm not paying the closest attention y'all we're at 3300 so I really appreciate you guys because in the last 28 days we've gained 339 subscribers here on my channel and you guys know a, look a win for me is a win for us okay because at the end of the day i have this channel to educate those who are looking to be educated or learn more and just put awareness out if you're a client i want you to have awareness because it's so many people in this industry i don't want to sound rude but that just don't belong simply because they do not have enough patience and care and compassion to properly deal with the type of things that are out there. I know a lot of people are uncomfortable around feet, period. And I know my channel is not just centered around feet, but um, that's something that I'm very passionate about. I'm very passionate about, you know, safety precautions and things in general. So this is why I always talk so passionately in my voiceovers and why I'm just so intent on spreading knowledge because before I became a licensed nail tech, I was just like some of y'all, okay? I didn't know. All I knew was like, okay, something ain't all the way, you know, two and two ain't making four. But then once I spent even the first week in nail school, the information that I learned really changed my life. And so that's why I am really on a mission to help those that I really feel like need it, okay? Which is the clients, as well as a lot of beginner techs. And you know what? There are some even like advanced, more advanced techs that you know may not have come across some of the things that i have come across everyone's experience is different you know i'm always going to urge people to go to nail school i know people are telling y'all oh it's pointless it's senseless nail school is not there for you to learn how to be good okay because if that was the case everybody would need a one-on-one -on -one tutor aid you know somebody would have to be holding your hand in the brush nail school is for the st to simply for the information that you need to pass that licensing test and so you can have your critical thinking skills so when things come up and you feel like I don't know what to do, you will know what to do. Because I'm telling you, man, the amount, it's just its just really crazy, okay? I'm always gonna advocate for that. And as a client, I'm always gonna advocate for y'all. Once you become aware of some of the monstrosities and some of the people out there that's playing y'all and don't care, once you, what they say, once you know better, you do better. So I'm here for those that now they know better, they wanna do better, whether you're a tech or um, a client. And so that's really important to me. So I just, I really appreciate y'all you guys know I have been going hard on this channel or as hard as I can since November 2021. Here go the dog, gone dogs. Uh, and so we're almost fully a year in and have gained over 3,000 subscribers in a year. So I'm super excited for the next phase. So I really just want to throw that out there. Give, give y'all the appreciation because honestly, y'all don't have to watch. Y'all don't have to keep coming back. Y'all don't have to return. So I'm just, I'm really amazed that 
video after video y'all keep coming back y'all y'all binge watching my videos and it's crazy so thank you okay so now we on the toenail that grows a certain direction okay so as you can see look at you can tell that it grows angled because just look at how the acrylic sits as you put it on right so the whole thing with acrylic toes this is not to correct or fix or um you know reroute anything these people got going on in their feet acrylic toes is simply aesthetic i do get asked sometimes hey um i have a toenail growing to the left you think you can make it to the right i cannot and even if i did as it would grow out it still would grow out in whatever direction that it's facing you see what i'm saying so basically what i'm here to do and what i'm here to tell y'all is do not try and work against people's feet and what they got just work with it flow with it because at the end of the day like i said um no matter what you do even if i were to try and angle that toenail the opposite way and make it look straight as it grows out not only is it going to grow that same angle but now you got a straight looking toe that look like it's facing forward but also it's coming to the left so it's going to look even more crazy and wonky as it grow out okay but <clears throat> now that we've given a squared out look you're going to be able to see that okay this is just a more even looking version of what she has they're not super long but in elongating this toenail a little bit it does give the appearance of a straighter look and so i am messing around with the tip and trying to not accentuate how much like even how the tip was at an angle because it was short i'm trying to decentuate hold on de-emphasize that let's say let's say that. i'm trying to de-emphasize how crooked the tip of the free edge right the, the tip of the free not the tip of the free edge the free edge of that toenail was and so we want a nicer even looking um free edge for this toenail and that's how you're gonna go ahead and i guess quote unquote fix that okay and so excuse me already it gives a nice illusion of you know this is really really a um I guess a regular toenail. I don't like really using that word because there's so much shit that's regular that people think that's not regular. And not even to be on no trendy, like, oh, you know, all inclusive, everybody isn't that. I'm just saying, as a person who look at feet every day, it's a lot of stuff that people don't realize is regular as hell, okay? So I'm gonna continue doing these ones as regular. And now when we get into the filing portion, that's really where you're going to, um, how do I explain this? That's really where you're going to be able to um, further, I guess, I don't even wanna say fix for real, but I guess further fix the problem that she feels like she has, you know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, this is a pretty simple and easy straightforward case. Okay, I know I have done some complicated stuff on here and different techniques and things, but this is pretty regular. I just don't just don't get you know caught up into the client saying like oh well I want that toe to point this way you're gonna have to tell them like look babe I cannot change your growth pattern I cannot change the direction in which your toe grows even if I did try and you know counterbalance what's going on it's still gonna grow that way and so what you're gonna have is a toenail that's slanted or tilted okay so uh, you're just gonna want to give the client realistic expectations every time you know i'm really an advocate for that as well okay you got to be honest with the clients because if you're not honest with the clients then they're gonna that's gonna be a lot of pressure on you you're gonna feel like oh well blah 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 this and the other and that's honestly not how you want to feel it's not fun working under stressful situations especially when it could be avoided by just giving realistic expectations okay so there's still 10 minutes left i'm trying to figure out if i do both I don't think I do both toenail, I mean both feet on this one, and that was part of the problem. So, like I said, I recorded this video, um, I think on the 8 or, I don't know which one I recorded it on, but I had to send it to my iPhone 8, and that's probably why the quality looks a little like, because mm, once it got sent over, you know what I'm saying, everything, everything's not exactly the same. But I did have other clips of me doing the other foot, but I did not have enough storage on my phones, because I did not have my 13 at the time. I did not have enough storage to be able to do both feet and I still had more um, things I wanted to go ahead and film for the day. So I basically sent this over to the, the, my iPhone 8, which I use for music, strictly for music in my suite. 
and I basically made room for the things that I really wanted to show you guys and so I kind of had to sacrifice that but I've been wanting to upload this for a good while now I've just been kind of waiting to like okay when do I ha not have a lot of content I've kind of cleared out all my phones of what I was already waiting to upload and then we're gonna go from there so that's how we got to this conclusion right here okay so we're just building up that pinky toe making sure that everything is good to go and um, then we're gonna start the process of shaping which shaping and filing is gonna be the same like I said this is a very straightforward um, instance I guess so like I said we're doing natural length so it's really important when you're doing shorter lengths extend it a little bit past what you no matter what but extend it a little bit past what you want the final filed result to be because you still need to go in and square it out okay so that's why it's really important especially um, for big toes to make sure like don't play around make sure it's squared out to some degree before you even file because that's gonna save you not only time but also the final result that you get is you're not gonna have to file away a lot of the length because then you end up with a toenail that's super short and I'm gonna be honest I think the reason why people really like my results is because I'm not giving people toenails that's too long or too short um, you know unless somebody has like an injury that it's like okay this is what's gonna be a length that's good for you type of thing but yeah I, I see a lot of people the toenails be so short that like when they you know extend their foot out it's like so much meat on the tip of the toe that's just not my preference this right here is pretty much standard length like natural length in my just in my chair okay so to each their own but that's just a little trick and um, okay I think I may okay you guys can see in the little corner I think I may have accidentally cut her a little bit with the um the file but she's not really like bleeding but I had noticed like okay it looks a little red which happens like don't be afraid if if something goes on or whatever you know a nail school we're trained um, it's called a blood spill procedure so there's not too much nothing coming out you know what I'm saying so basically I just apply a little pressure spray her down with like an alcohol or cleansing spray and because there's there's no real blood or anything it's fine to keep working now let's say if I were to cut her to the point of like she's bleeding everywhere then I'll go ahead and switch out the um, and I'm not talking about oh hey she's got a little blood like you know coming out like something that hey a paper towel or a band-aid or you know something like that can't fix and honestly even if yeah so let's say a great amount of blood coming out towards getting on me and everything I'd have to stop I will go ahead and throw away the the file and all the bits anything that has like a lot of blood on it it got to go to either the garbage or you know the soiled buckets uh, as far as the laundry and then I'll have to wash my hands you know and I will go ahead and then give her her little medical care and you know I'll probably bandage it up a little bit and just move on to what's next and then come back to it a little bit later once the blood has subsided okay so <sighs> don't worry about like you know when people are like oh I want someone they cut me it's okay as long as they provide you with the care that you're supposed to get it's okay and they're not rude it happens okay but not often it shouldn't happen like too often but it you know do happen and that's okay um so here we are making sure all the tips are pretty straight and so for this one you can see I'm still filing at that angle because that is a natural angle that it grows I'm just not emphasizing how much of an at an angle that it grows because as you can see when it first uh, when we first saw the toenail it was clearly I mean the toenail was like kind of more of a triangular shape <laughs> uh, for lack of better words but once we put that free edge on and we extended it and so now I'm rotating the toenail right because you need to look from different angles because the thing about toenails that kind of grow rotated or crooked or you know whatever you want to call it it's it's really an illusion so I'm filing see this corner here I'm kind of filing it straight but also at the same time I just want to make sure that it's not um it's not too much cut like I'm not filing it too much the opposite way once again I just want to follow the natural guidelines but kind of clean it up a little bit so that way no one else is gonna really really know like oh wow look how crooked it grows okay and so that way as it grows out you get a nice and natural result um, 
y'all i need to start putting on my clothes because i'm looking at the time and it's 11 32 i got a 12 o'clock i live 10 minutes away but child if i don't put these clothes on now oh we're gonna be late we're gonna be late so let me find some clothes oh i'm gonna drop the computer okay so at this point in time we're still filing and carrying on um you can see if you're having a hard time with some of the toenails just go ahead and hold them a little differently um that's also like a major major tip don't do not be afraid to get into people's business okay y'all should know by now i be all in people's stuff okay i be between their toes you know if you guys could see the way i record like how much the camera is in my face to the point where like i i, I cannot hardly see it would be crazy and that's why i'm really all up in their stuff because like the at the angle at which the camera sits i can't look i can't see so we gotta we can't be scared to get in there how we can okay so you can see i'm using the drill to kind of really 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 sharpen up some of these guidelines because once again we just want everything to look really really good on all the toenails and honestly i think i've talked about this before sometimes when you cannot get the most straight appearance like some okay have you ever seen toenails um acrylic toenails to where okay someone did them but like they're kind of still rounded like bolds rounded at the top like it looks square from a certain angle but then other angles it's kind of like it's not exactly a straight line at the tip so that's where the drill comes in handy is because sometimes with your file in your hand you don't realize that you're not actually filing as straight across as possible you're actually filing with a little bit of a um how do i explain it like a little bit of a a bowing motion that's what they call it in nail school when you okay it's kind of hard to explain but anyways sometimes when you're doing this you don't realize that you're actually not filing as straight as possible and that's why you always see me like move under see how underneath i put the like the meat of the toenail like between my fingers is because basically i want it to not look like um it's like buckled or anything and so at this point i feel happy with the result and of course i'm gonna go and make any little minor changes and i'm just gonna spray you guys are, you guys already know i like to spray um the toes down when i'm like all done to get rid of any dust and stuff people often ask me do you have to do a pedicure for acrylic toes you don't have to i do not give a pedicure unless that is a service booked by the client um as well an acrylic pedicure but you know lots of people don't book it that way and i don't mind it's okay so you can see how she was kind of looking and she's like wow like i can't believe it like my toenails look so good and so i'm just telling her, i was like girl your toenails already looked it good it's just now they're all like the same length and similar size and stuff like that so i was pretty happy with this overall outcome like i said it was pretty straightforward pretty easy like in my head i'm like there's no reason why i would have thought that she would not be happy just because it was such an easy little fix or whatever but yeah i really just wanted to show you guys this just to show you like how much little things like this can actually help a person out or make them feel good there's some things that would seem like oh you know let me correct this or fix that but when it comes to the way that the toenails naturally grow acrylic toes is clearly aesthetic it's not meant to try and um fix any type of growth pattern or anything like that at the end of the day it's kind of like a veneer i mean it is what it is it hides what's underneath but you still got to do it healthily and safe and no matter what your toenails underneath they're still there they still like you know what i'm saying you got to work with them you can't work against them so i'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video i appreciate you guys for tuning in for watching and of course i got more content coming for you guys once again here is a before and after of the opposite foot with more angled toenails and as usual i will see you guys in the next one